Actually, it's me. I know, it's been a while, yes. But I finally got around to it and have finally finished my tutorial for Dog Roll. Um, the reason it took so long is because I was busy with university and other life stuff, but I finally, like, it's the summer now, so I finally, like, started to get around to it today and finish it up. So I'm kind of editing this in post, um, but just putting this in, um, but before I wanted to, you know, say anything else, I just kind of wanted to, like, just say thanks for the people who, like, kind of subscribed for, because of the, uh, dog roll video and want to see more, and, you know, the dog roll video now, it's at almost a quarter million views, and all... I think almost past uh, 10k in likes, which is just kind of ridiculous, especially since this is like the first video that I even had that's like blown up past like 10k in views, and now it's like at 200k, that's just ridiculous, so thank you very much. Thank you so much. So, the two pieces of software that I used mostly to make this uh, dog roll video were two pieces of software for Mac, which was um, Camtasia, Camtasia 2, which is also available for PC, and Pixelmator. Um, Pixelmator is basically a $20 Photoshop clone um, that works pretty well and does mostly what I needed to do. And Camtasia is a record a recording software with its own built-in video editor, which is what I'm using to record this right now, and which is what I also use to edit dog roll. So firstly, I'm going to start in this tutorial. I'm going to start with uh, making the sprite, the main dog sprite in Pixelmator, and then I'm going to put it into Camtasia and show you how I move the faces around the face and the multiple faces and the barks, how I move the, basically all of those like in Camtasia. And bas mostly this tutorial does just kind of show you that like, you know, even if you don't have like Sony Vegas or some $600 piece of software, even if you have something that you got a long time ago or just never used, like just whatever the excuse you have for software, whatever you have laying around can still like, you can still make something out of it. So I'm now going to cut to um, Pixelmator where I have the Toby dog open. I'm going to show you how I edit that into the dog face that appears in the video. Alright, so let's start with making the sprite, the, do the dog sprite, the dog head which I made. So what I basically did, I just in Pixelmator I just opened up the Toby dog right here. I have it up here, here's a background layer. And just basically the picture is 30 by 30 pixels, not, not too large. Um, in Pixelmator, if you're using Pixelmator, um, if you <laughs> be sure to have a pi pixel tool because for some reason Pixelmator doesn't have that there by default. So let's just create just the quick head of this, like right here, in, in the from the dog roll video. So we take this, just move this, or actually this is in the wrong layer. Hang on. So we take this, just move it down, just move it down to about there, so it's parallel with this. And then we get rid of the legs. This guy don't need no legs. And in fact, actually just get rid of this layer as well. So we do that, and then we just finish up the bottom really quick. Just add some pixels here. Get rid of the little straight tail here. And boom, I think we have the dog head. I think that's actually pretty close to the dog head actually that I have in the video. Yeah, that looks pretty close, doesn't it? Looks pretty close. Okay. So let's go back to the dog head. Because there, ha there have been some people who have been having troubles with getting stuff, <coughs> getting pixel art and pixel meter to actually like display. So let me move our finished head, our finished product right here to the center. All right, so there were some technical difficulties and there was a train passing by, so I just had to quickly edit some time. So, moving on. So let's, this looks good, right? So let's save this to a PDF. And there is a problem with this. And I'll just show you in a second what the problem is when you do this. So let's go save it in screenshots, just temporarily. Dog head test. Why not? Let's just, okay, where the freak was my finder? Let's just drag this right into here. Just pop, just pop it right on. Here's the problem. When you do that in anything, when Pixelmator tries to save as PDF, it saves as the actual like 
it saves the um, actual dimensions of like 30 by 30 pixels. And that's a problem because like this doesn't look like this. It doesn't look as sharp. It looks, this looks like a blurry piece of crap and you don't want this, right? So let's de delete this. So how, do, uh, so how do we get rid of that blurriness when we export to PDF? In P um, so in Photoshop, you would have a setting called when you're exporting to PDF. So like when you would go to export PDF, in Photoshop, for the people using Photoshop, you would select PNG and then you would have an option and you would select it, it would be called preserve hard edges. And what that would do is that would basically, as the name suggests, preserve these hard edges so they don't appear blurry when you drop them onto here or just view them normally. So of course I'm using Pixelmator, which is a cheap, much cheaper software and I like it a lot, but it doesn't have preserved hard edges. So what I did was this. So I'm just gonna fill this background and you'll see why. I'm filling this background. It's filled, good. So I filled the background and what I actually did is I used Sketch. I took a screenshot of the dog roll and I tried to get like eat, I, I tried to get like multiple screenshots of the dog face, and I tried to get them as like the same amount of pixels as possible for each image. So then you would drag this new file over here. Where is it? Why is it not here? Oh geez, I think Pixelmator is lagging. Oh not Pixelmator, <laughs> Camtasia. Some more technical difficulties. Okay, so here here we go. We got the face. So now the face looks clear, just we have a, all this purple gunk. And the reason we added this purple gunk was because if we went into Pixelmator, if you remove the background, we would have this, which is basically just Pixelmator's and Photoshop's way of saying that there's no, there's no, there's no color value here. But like when we would do it here, it would also like, you know, you would take the screenshot, it would also include that little like gray and white square filter of saying that there's no color value there. So the, the easiest way to circumvent this was making a background purple and then just going and adding effect. So let me see if I can add an effect to this. Video effects. So we can go remove a color. We can drag that onto here. And we can select this color. And then we have this face. We have the exact same face that we used for dog roll right here. So that's how, that's, how you make the, that's how you make the sprite for it. So you can kind of get the idea of how I made the sprites for them in Pixelmator. So now after we're done in Pixelmator, I take the Pixelmator files, obviously, and I move them to Camtasia. Now, during this part of the tutorial, um, my, <laughs> my recording did crash of, because I was using, I was editing Camtasia, <clears throat> and then I was also recording using Camtasia, and there was just a lot of items in the file. Um, to the point where just Camtasia just couldn't handle it. So there is a point where I do cut and I just show you just like, I just skip ahead to like the already finished product and I kind of show you like, okay, this is like kind of like how it's been done. Um, so I apologize for that. <laughs> so we have our finished product right here. Here's the uh, dog sprites. This is the exact file that I used for the dog sprites. And then here I have like multiple faces of the dog where it's like, it's got, you know, eyes closed and still barking and it's got like eyes open and so it was well barking. They're different. They're uh, just this. The file basically right here is just one big Photoshop file with different layers of like the dog face. And you can kind of see like how the dog face, like how I got it to animate. You can kind of get, you, you might be able to get the idea of like how it works. Just it's basically just like two frames of where it's open mouth, closed mouth, open mouth, closed mouth. And I just like kind of play with that. So right here, we already have the file here. This is the exact file that I have for dog roll. You can see how ridiculous it is. <laughs> um, oh geez, it's, it's even laggy to just open up because there's so much. Yep, that's, that's all of dog, that's all of the dog roll right here. If this thing, yeah, it's just, it's just even laggy just to open this up just to, to a basic extent. Holy cow. Okay, so let's just go down here. So now I'm gonna, this is the part of the tutorial where I'm just gonna just show you how to edit, how I edit, well, not how to edit, well, 
how I managed to like get this on top of Rick Astley's face and just animate the whole thing for two minutes. So, so I have this scene picked out right here. Just gonna reduce the volume a little bit. So yeah, we have this scene right here where the dog's moving and the barks are coming out one by one. So we're going to, this is, this is a scene I thought would be okay to show because it's like, it's actually a little bit of effort and it's not ridiculous. It was a little bit ridiculous with Rick's head bobbing, which is why this, why even making this video took a while. But yeah, so let's, so let's delete this whole thing. Oh geez, look, look at all the objects here that I'm selecting. You can see how much there is. So let's delete up to about there, right? I think. Pressing delete and it's, oh boy, it's lagging. Okay, here we go. So all there is now is just Rick Astley with the dog roll song on top. So yeah, I just basically just took, this one's self-explanatory as to how this is done. I just took the dog, the um, <clears throat> Never Gonna Give You Rough, I just put it down here, the audio, and then I just took the video of Rick Astley, Never Gonna Give You Up. I just downloaded it using an app called Videobox, which is right around here, yeah, Videobox. Um, there's a few there's a few like places where you can get like videos online and stuff like that like you can download YouTube videos online and stuff like that, but I find they're medium quality So I, I use video box for this one just in case if you're looking for like some Mac software for this It's like five bucks, but it, it, it it's like the the best one that I can find that gets like close to the original quality of the YouTube video so we have this right now which is basically just if we want to meet, oh, I separated the audio, but like there used to be audio here, just Rick sitting and like you could hear it, but I removed the audio. And so this is what, it, this is what the bare bones of it is. Just Rick Astley and then dog song. So how do I get the faces on there? So we saw how I made the faces and I already have them up here from a previous project. So let's get two faces. So here's how I got the two faces. So I have face R and face R2. So facing right, facing right two, where right two is blank. So let's get both of these files on here. Oh geez, okay, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty laggy because I have just so much objects in this file. So I'm hoping to like just do this tutorial and be done with this because this was a nightmare to edit because this thing would crash a lot for how much stuff I put in it. So here I have the two files. Let me now sync them up together. So they should be about on top of each other. All right, so let's go ahead, select both of them, get rid of these two, and then move them down into here. If this thing could stop lagging, okay. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so we have this here. They should be on top of each other, so let's go ahead and remove colors from them now. Let's go ahead and remove color from both of them. I'm going to select this color. So now they're together. So yeah. And then I just position it on top of here. And of course, this is how it basically goes down. Basically, what I just did was um, one layer would be this bark, the bark would have to be on the top layer and then the bottom layer would be this. So it would just basically be, if I could control this layer sidebar, hang on. So it basically would look like this. That's how I animated it. I made one layer show up and then one layer, and then the other layer behind it um, show up, like when there would be like barks and stuff like that. That's how it would work. And they're a little bit off. Let me see if I can just line them up on top of each other as so yeah let me line them up so this is how I wor would work so they were both lined up on top of each other and basically I would just move the heads together whenever Rick Astley was moving his head so let's see where his head is now so his head is slightly over there okay so we're gonna rotate dog roll head a little bit 
We're going to expand it a little bit. Okay. And then we're going to go to video effects. There sh or should be somewhere here. Animations. Yeah, here. Custom animations. So I basically put the two... I basically just copied the same animations um, for both heads. And I moved them together. That's how basically it works. And they're a bit off now. They're like... There's like a little tiny pixel. And I'll show you how to get rid of that in a little bit of a sec. But just bear with me. So I moved them together. This is, this is the basic like how, how I did it. Um, so he moves his head downwards here. So he goes, starts here, and then he moves downwards here. So with the custom animation, I drag, I select both of them first off. If this thing would let me. My computer's fan's already like going nuts because it can't handle all these objects here. So it goes here, down, and then right there it goes to the right. So I would move then these two heads over here to mimic the animation. In custom animations, you basically you have a starting point and then like at the then where you want it to go, you just move it like at the very end here. So at this frame they're here. So how does this look now? Oh geez, okay. Yeah, it's pretty laggy. There we go. Okay. So how, all right, so I just quit some apps. It should be a little a little bit better now. Let's see how it is now. So it kind of moves, boom. So we need to do another custom animation. Oh, geez. <laughs> okay. And then another one. This is a long process, yeah. But like, this is how this is how it was done. This is exactly how it was done. You can see here. Um, oh, geez. Okay. So it starts there. And then it goes a little bit downish, like that. Let me see. Let's so let's see how that goes. So it goes womp. It's a little bit slow. So let me make it a little bit faster by shortening the time on it. How's that look? A little bit more. Could also start a bit earlier too. So let's see how that looks. Okay, yeah, that look. I think that looks okay. So let's move on to the next bit, where now he move. He has his head in place a little bit, and then he moves it like straight up that way. Okay. So, I would move these two animations again, same process, take them, and let's see where it goes. So it kind of starts about there and then goes up here. And stops. So that's where it. Because you want to get like to the point where it's like it kind of stops it, and then like it's it starts to move into another direction, and then that's when you want another animation. So we're gonna go tilt his head a bit this way, and move it up here. So how does this look? Bump, bump, bump. It's a bit off from like the original, but like this is just me quickly doing it just to, it seems a little bit slow, but it's me just trying to quickly do it right now. <laughs> and um, so you kind of can see at least like the bare bones basics of like how this was made <coughs> in Camtasia. So he goes up here, he starts up and then moves downwards and then starts to move to the right right there. So we stop here, rotate the head, back here so then it looks like this so it goes bam 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 and then it goes up again and then does like this little head swivel thing which gave me a fucking nightmare when editing this ah okay
Come on. Come on. Yeah, this thing, like, I put so many objects into it, and Camtasia is not exactly supposed to handle this much. So it started crashing a lot, and I'm hoping it doesn't... It shouldn't crash here, but, like, it was crashing for me a lot. Um, so it goes, starts up, and goes here, and then starts to go down at that around that point. So turn the head... Oh, jeez. No, select both heads. <laughs> select both of the heads. Rotate them. Move them up. That's about good. Okay. So we have one, two, okay. Still, still lagging. Three, four, five. It's it's a bit off, but you can actually no, we can fix that real quick. We could just we could just speed up the anim we could just push it a little bit back and speed up the animation by like shortening the time so it goes a little bit faster. Yeah, that looks about okay. It's a little bit off here, but that's fine. Uh, whatever. So long as you get the idea of how this works. <coughs> okay. We move two more animations here. Okay. Or or this thing can pretend to and not do that. Jeez. Okay. This thing. Yeah. This thing can be a bit of a nightmare sometimes when trying to do this. And it's understandable. Like, there's just so much going on. Is there anything else I can quit? Um, I'll just quit Google Chrome. Yeah, OK. That should, that should fix some problems, because it does take up a lot of CPU. Yeah, when you're editing anything, you usually want to like leave as mu like the least amount of things like taking up CPU in the background. So that way, you, this is not as painful. Editing is not as painful. So he starts moving it down right about here, and then he starts like moving the other direction here. So we're gonna go ahead and rotate these heads to about normal, and then move them down. Okay, how does it look now? They break off a little bit here because I moved something by accident, but that's fine. You can fix this later. Oh geez, okay. And then it moves up one last time and goes up one last time. So two more animations and we're done. Oh geez, no, don't crash please, don't crash. Oh God, please, no, do not crash. I might have, just have to save it. I kind of don't want to though. Oh God, okay. So, if anything, I might just edit this part out just because of how long it's taking and because of how much my Mac is lagging. Because <laughs> it might not get this footage accurately. Because it's also recording this as I'm editing. And editing this takes up not just enough CPU as it is. Oh, geez. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay, this program really needs to bear with me. Come on. Come on. Oh, please. Yeah, I don't know. Well, like sometimes it like pauses at the end and sometimes it just extends further for no reason when there's like no footage there. Let me just copy these things here. Just so like I do not have, so that way I don't ha do not have to do them again. Okay. Fine. Um Just showing this to here. Take these animations, select them. All right, so they start down here. And they rise up around here. And at that frame, they stop rising. And then they start to go down. So then they're up here. And then. Okay, for some reason this automatically knows what I want to do for some reason. All right. So it stays up there for a little bit. Um, take these two. 
move them to the point where they start moving downwards. Rotate them a little bit. So it's like right here. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, I think that looks good. Let's see how that looks. If I can just, mm, if I can just see, please. Oh, geez, no, please don't. I'm just gonna edit these freezes out. So let's see how it looks now. So yeah, I think it looks okay. He's just mostly smiling though. So now we need to keep in track. So how I did the barks was basically I just have, you know, for the same thing, I just had a bark, little bark logo, and it just basically moved around the same way the animations did. But we got to find out where the barks are in the audio. So let's quickly just do that. Oh, geez. Okay. It's still laggy. So there's a bark here. That's one bark. 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 So that's about two barks. Yeah, two barks. Was there any barks here? About one bark here. Okay. No, okay. Is that bark? Yep, that's a bark. I think that next thing's a bark too. Bark. One bark here. And then another bark right here. This is just one bark, yeah? There's a bark for here, right here for sure. So yeah, my video player crashed. Um, <laughs> The thing is, is that I was recording Camtasia in Camtasia while there's like 50 billion, like, I, well, I'm exaggerating 50 billion, but like there's hundred, there's like hundreds of objects, different objects, or, or of the same object, like just moved around a lot with different like custom animations. And it kind of messed up the video player. So basically just what I was doing, I was cutting to where the barks were in the audio, I was trying to cut and then putting the barks in the video. So basically I just did this, the same thing you would expect with faces, I cut them, I put a purple background, I got rid of the purple background, which is right here, remove a color. And then I did a custom animation where I had them from the center of the mouth to go to the opposite end of the screen. And that was with mostly all the barks. And that's pretty much about it. Shame like I couldn't use the original file, like the original like, Thing that I just deleted it and like tried to remake <laughs> but that's the best I could do and that pretty much just wraps up the tutorial I didn't really want to go through the whole video because I feel that would have taken too long and plus I feel like Camtasia would just hate me even more because like even just skimming through the f even just opening the file and just skimming through it is just like can just like cause like multiple crashes and uh, like not just from Camtasia, so I can cause other things in my computer to crash, and it's just ridiculous. So I'm just going to stop the tutorial here. If you have any questions, I do read comments. Um, if you post down a comment down below, and I'll answer it the best I can, like, oh, how did you do this scene in dog roll, or how did you do this, or, you know, um, can you help me with this, like you did this here, and stuff like that. Whatever you, the question may be related to dog roll, um, that's not answered here or that like you felt like maybe needed some more clarification. So I just thank you for watching. Uh, <laughs> I'm not really used to like I keep moving my head around. I'm not really used to this whole camera setup. Um, but maybe like 
I don't know. This is my first time I'm doing a tutorial, and I just don't really know what I'm doing, and I hope I'm doing it correctly to some extent. I understand it's a bit long, so I do apologize, and it does get boring after a while. But if you've made it this far, then thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, like I said, just comment down below, and I will answer them.